Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami. Last time, we, I think we rolled a snowball around in Kamoi, and uh, got a brand new brush technique. I think we also killed a bandit spider. And, uh, you may ask once again, where are you, Dr. Oswald? Um, I am actually here in Shinshu Field. And I, uh, I found out how to do that Nameless Man side quest. Apparently we have to get rid of all the Devil Gates in Shinshu Field before he will talk to us about the side quest. So, we are going to get rid of this Devil Gate because I found one up on the cliff that you can get to after you, uh, I think after you use the, after you get, like, that you use the wall climbing ability to get to, yeah, <laughs> that one, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> ooh, I wonder if I can catch that, uh, that dude before, ah, dang it, he didn't give me his, his thingy, okay, well, instead I'm gonna maybe get it from this guy, okay, yeah, I got a demon fang, awesome, I haven't been ge get, I have not been getting demon fangs for a while, okay, <laughs> there we go, <laughs> and, uh, yay, this field is now nice and pretty and green. With bunny rabbits, 30 praise. Blah, 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 blah. Come here, bunny rabbits. Oh, you're so cute. Have some herbs. You're so cute. Oh, bunny rabbits. There we go. Nice little bunny rabbits fat. I think I saw a clover back behind him. A praise. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, where's that clover? I think that's. Yeah, that's a clover. I think at nighttime, I think at uh, nighttime, when there are treasures underground, like in areas where there are treasures underground, I think at nighttime, a uh, like a bright white light will shoot up from the ground where the uh, the treasures are. And I made the sun. I actually wanted to do that after I got the clover. <laughs> Thirty praise. But uh, yeah, I heard sunset noises, so it's good that I actually put up the uh, the um, the sun. <laughs> But yeah, let's go talk to Name Nameless Man now. Maybe he'll let us do his side quest now. Yeah, look, he's standing over by his kilns now instead of chopping wood over there. This is the life, huh? It's great to be clutching my axe again. See this kiln, friend? It disappeared when the curse struck. My workshop is my pride and joy. I'm stoked to have it back. I'm actually an artist commuting with nature on a deep level, man. I can hardly wait to start f firing up some pots again. Earthenware is like a mirror into the soul, man. Whatever mood you're in, good or bad, it all comes out in the pots. Check this out. Just finished for, for firing my first piece. My first face. The azure neck. I love flowers. Single flower faces are my specialty. You can have it if you like it. Oh, thanks, man. Now, actually... Um... Where'd you put it, dude? <laughs> it's right there. There we go. Pick it up. There we go. <laughs> okay, but yeah. We actually, uh, you know how around Shinshu Field, there are all of those, um, dirty guardian statues. Those guardian statues. Well, this is actually what they're for. I mean, when I first played the game, it, I didn't know about this. Like, I had no idea what those guardian statues were for. Like, every, think, every time I talk to Ishin, like, he's like, you should give him some flowers, or it looks lonely, or something like that. So, um, yeah, this is what you do. You need to bring flower pots to the guardian statues. And I'm pretty sure that will make them happy. And they I think they give you praise. And that's what we're going to do. Not a guardian statue down here. Totally thought there was one there. But I know there's one out in the middle of uh, the lake over there. Where where the, uh, the moon cave used to be. Here's one, though. Aha! Here you go. Oh, they're smiling. Five praise. Blah, blah, blah. Hooray! Let's see what Ishin has to say. Check out the Guardian statue now! It looks great thanks to you. See? Even the Guardian's smiling. Aw, that's nice. See? We're being good guys, running around, taking flower pots to Guardian statues. And you get some praise for it, so that's good. We need plenty of praise when we're since we're uh, coming up on the end of the game. Final boss battle, you know, all that crazy stuff. Um... I'd like to say that the final boss of this game is rather difficult, um, so it's 
good that we are getting praise, so I don't do too horrible. And, oh, look, a patch of dirt here, or a patch of rock. And there's clover light coming out of it, so... There's a clover here that we couldn't get before. I mean, we can get it now because we have to dig the we can dig rock now. But uh, here we go, 20 praise. And wow, that raises us up to 702 praise bubbles. And actually, I want to save my game. I don't think I've saved my game in a bit, so I'd like to do that. Um, save here, please. Yeah, I haven't even saved since I started like a couple episodes ago on Ryushima, Ryushima Coast. There we go. Okay, let's go find Nameless Man once more. We need to deliver more of his, more of his flower pots to the Guardian statues. And um, <laughs> if I don't, if I happen to not remember where the, all the Guardian statues are, I'll probably cut out until I get to that Guardian statue. Um, but it just depends. <laughs> depends if I remember where they are or not. But uh, I know where some of them are. I remember where some of them are. If I praise, blah 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 blah. blah. Um, but yeah. I'll take the ones, I'll take the, the pots to the statues that I remember, and if I forget any, I'll just cut out till when I get to those. Um, hey Nameless Man! Looks like you snatched that vase and took it somewhere. Guess even wolves appreciate fine art. Don't you have another one for me, sir? Maybe if we come back the next day, he'll give us one. Night time. I don't expect him to be out here at night. I mean, it's night time. There, and they're like the demon scrolls prowling the landscape. It'd not be good if you got caught in one of those. Still looking after that first face I gave you, buddy. I've come up with one that's even better. Check it out, man. That's pretty good. My second face, the indigo neck. My potter's intuition is starting to come back to me, man. You can have it if you like it. Thank you. I would like it. Let's go find the guardian statue to give it to. Oh, I dropped it. Um, I can't give it to the guardian statue if it's laying on the ground. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think there's one in a cave nearby. We can go and give that to, to, to the Guardian statue. Uh, if I can remember. Actually, that might be the cave right there. Is it? Yes, it is. Hello, Guardian statue. Aw, oh, it looks so much better now with the sunflower. Ten praise. <laughs> Check out the Guardian statue now! It looks great thanks to you. I can even see the Guardian smiling. Oh, okay. Um, I think the uh, I think the dialogue's the same every time you give a uh, a flower vase to the guardian statue. Let's make it nighttime again because it needs. I'm pretty sure it needs to be another d like the next day for no fair demon scroll. You jerk! What the heck? What? We haven't seen these guys for a while. I think we started um one of those fight the uh, evil demon lists a while back, but we never really continued on him. Well, we killed him. Bewar... Bewamaru the Vandal. Okay. I believe if you finish those uh, those lists, the uh, where you have to go kill all the special imps or enemies, I'm pretty sure they give you a stray beat in the end, but I'm not entirely sure if that's right for all of them. Okay, another mischief-making monster down. Well, you know what to do, my furry friend. A quick slash, your brush should do the trick. Um, Biwamaru the Vandal. There we go. You know what, I might, I might even, uh, maybe I'll do those for a, uh, a bonus video as well. Maybe I'll, uh, like, after the Let's Play's finished, maybe I'll go back and, um, go get all the, uh, go do all the demon lists or whatever. Maybe. Depends on what I feel like. It depends on like what I want to do at the time. Anyway, let's go get another vase from Nameless Man. Talk to me. The white connoisseur returns. Don't worry. Just a nickname I cooked up for you, man. Look, I've just finished my third piece. That's a nice one. My third vase, the rust neck. See that sober shading? An expert like you knows what it means, huh? We're two of a kind, you and me. Here, take it. Thank you. Man, this guy really likes making pottery. Um. Yes. Let's find where to go. I wonder, can I jump on a wall with these? Yes, I can. It stays in my mouth. I'm pretty sure one's going to end up being on the top of that cliff there. Let's go up. 
let's go up. Thank you. That's much nicer when I'm climbing the bu not the building. That's not a building, that's a wall. Climbing the wall, silly me. It's not even a wall, it's like the cliffside. I guess it could be technically considered a wall, since it's large and flat. It is large and flat. I mean, that's basically what walls are, right? Large and flat things. They usually stand vertical, up, down. Sometimes block you off from things. I did not want to go in there. I'm not going to Kamui at the moment. And look, Amaterasu dropped the pot. Isn't that great? Thanks, Ami. Anyway. Dang it. <laughs> uh, let's... I want to just see if there's a guardian statue up here. <laughs> because that was a complete accident. I didn't even mean to run into there. But Ami just insisted, I guess. Um, is there a guardian statue up here? It would be nice if there was one. Whoa, that looked like a big crack in the ground. But it was just a shadow, okay? <laughs> I really thought it was a crack in the ground there for a second. And, um, haha, -ha, look at what my awesome, my crazy eyeballs see. It's a treasure chest. Kutani pottery. Wonderful. I just love Kutani pottery. Dang it. I totally thought a statue would be up here. There probably is one, too. It's just mocking me somewhere. Until they bring in its flower, it will mock me. <laughs> uh, don't mock me, statue. I want to be your friend. Come on. Let's be best buds. Hang out on the weekends. Eat chips. Yum. I think I said that when we were racing Ida. I told him we could be best buds, hang out on the weekends, and eat chips. But you know what? I like to hang out on the weekends and eat chips with many people. So, maybe I'll hang out with a guardian statue sometime. Not sure how that works out. Um, those look, those things look pretty heavy, and I'm not sure if I'd really want to pick one up. Do I still have it in my mouth? Okay, there we go. I didn't want to drop it. Oh, there's one. I didn't even know it was there. Blah, 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 blah. 15 praise. And is this going to say the same thing? Yes, he is. The guardian statue is smiling. Smiles are good, usually indicating happiness. Um, yes. It needs to be nighttime than daytime again. I really hope a, uh, a demon scroll isn't cheap and comes and sneaks up on me in the middle of the night. Daytime, please. There we go. I wonder if it'll, like, negative itself out. I think it did. I think nothing happened. Oh, you can't rush genius. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Like, I made it sun and moon at the same time. I'm not even sure if that's, that works. I don't... I don't think you can see the... Maybe you can see the sun. Yes, you can. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know if you can see the sun and the moon at the same time. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Ah, oh, but maybe not. I don't know. Hey, white connoisseur. Your nose never lets you down, huh? You're just in time to check out my fourth masterpiece, man. My fourth face. The Auburn Duck. Getting the color just right was a challenge even for me. Go ahead. Take it. Do with it what nature tells you to do. Thanks, nameless man. You're a good guy. You're a friend of mine. Giving me flower vases. Let's go see where to put this baby. Let's see. We're gonna take it somewhere and set it down. Actually, I know where the next one's gonna be, unless I encounter one on my run to the way there. Um, actually, if I encounter one, that will be nice because I don't know where one of them is. I don't. Oh, never mind. I know where every single one of them are. I'm like a genie. Not really. I'm not a genie. Ooh, I think that's a rose. How pretty. 20 praise. Blah, 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 blah. Check out the Guardian statue now. It looks great thanks to you. See? The Guardian's smiling. Smiles are good. As I said before, they indicate happiness. Or they indicate awkwardness if it's an awkward smile and you're like... How's it going? Hey, wanna go eat chips on the weekend hangout? Yeah? Maybe. 
Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, sometimes I have awkward smiles like that. Eight. They're, they're, they don't always involve going and hanging out with people on the weekends and eating chips. Because I don't really eat chips often. Um. But. Well. Sometimes you make. Sometimes, you know. You just end up making the awkward smile. But, uh, sometimes we're just awkward. Awkwardness is a part of life. Embrace it. Awkward. Everyone's awkward at one time. Unless you're not. What's up, Nameless Man? Hey, is that? Can it be? Yeah, it's him. It's the guy. Hey! Like, don't be so loud, man. No need to disrupt nature's harmony with a loud voice. Don't need to squeal like a rat for me to hear you. Did he just call me a rat? Still, getting excited about my next masterpiece is only natural. And so now? Allow me to unveil my greatest creation. My last face. The pure neck. Well, see the irresistible charm of its na naive simplicity? It's so great, like, I don't even know what to do with it. Here, white connoisseur, you look like you're after it. Thank you. Let's go. You know what? I haven't done a wish of greatness in a while, so I think I'm just going to whoosh. I mean, I'm not going to teleport anywhere, but I'm going to do this. Whoosh. I haven't done that for a while. I don't think I've done that since maybe near the beginning of the Let's Play. Reminds you of the past, doesn't it? The good old whoosh of greatness. Whoosh. The satisfying sound of the... The whoosh. Getting us to a place that we're going to. Thank you, Wish of Greatness. You are awesome. Oh, I hope it stays in my mouth when I swim. Don't drop it, Amaterasu. Don't drop it, Ami. Don't drop it, please. Please don't drop it. Ah, oh, you kept it. Thank you. Thank you, Ami. And uh, right out here, in the right where, uh, where the Moon Cave used to be, out here in the middle of the lake, there's a Guardian statue where it remains. Or where it used to be. I don't know what happened in the moon cave, but... All's left is a guardian statue, isn't that nice? Hooray! They're smiling! 50 praise. Blah, 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 blah. That's a lot of praise. A guardian statue. It stood out here since the moon cave disappeared. The gods of the lamb must be purifying the curse. Makes me feel better. Even if it is rather small. That's sweet. That is sweet. Anyway, um... I'm not sure if Nameless Man gives you anything if you run back to him. Uh, I'm gonna go check that out before we end the episode off. But, um, yeah. That was the Endless Man side quest. You know what I think I'm gonna do next time? I'm going to the Arca Yamato next episode, guys! We're gonna go there! We're going to have the, uh, the Resolve, as Ishin said, to enter that arc and do epic stuff. And that will be one of the most epic points in the game, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, there have been some epic points in this in this game. Like the other uh, fight with all the canine warriors, that was pretty epic, right? Unless you didn't think it was epic. It just, it depends on your opinion, whether you think it's epic or not. Things are epic, things are not. Epicness is a part of life. Sometimes things are epic, sometimes things aren't epic. But, yeah. Sometimes you're epic. So how's my best ever face doing, White Connoisseur? Guess I shouldn't bother asking, huh? I'm sure you found the perfect place for your friend. Let me give you something to say thanks. Stray bead? Ah, oh, thanks, man. It's trippy, man. You know, I'm not really sure the vase was even real. I don't think I have what it takes to make another like that. The lifestyle of a master potter is an easy one, man. But that's exactly why I've become one. The real challenge has, like, only just started. Back to work. See ya, man. See ya. See ya later, man. Anyway. In the next episode of Let's Play Okami, we shall go to the Ark of Yamato. And, so, being that part of the episode where we ended off at, normally known as the end of the episode, 
I'm going to say. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Okami. Bye, guys.